All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Windows computer personalization settings, specifically in Windows 10, and where to find them, how to use them, and what they all do. So to get access to these settings, all you have to do is open up your Windows system settings. You can just type in settings in the search bar in the bottom right or left-hand corner, and then you're looking for the little picture of, like, a brush inside of a, like, a monitor, it says personalization, background, lock screen, and colors. Go ahead and give that a click. And that'll open up all of your personalization settings. It'll sell, it'll tell you like, what's your current background? What's your current picture? And then if you want to, you know, make it fill, center, tile, span, stretch to fit the screen, all of those different options so that your image that you picked for the background can be whatever you want. And you've got a couple ways that you can change this. You can either click browse to find a new image or you can just open up your file browser. So after you select an image, you can see I just changed mine. So what Windows does now that I've changed my background image is they try to adjust the colors or the theme of your computer in order to match your background image. So that it kind of has like a nice, comfortable, seamless feel to it. But if you don't like that, you can go to colors down here and you can change the colors for basically everything. You can choose your colors as like a light or a dark theme. You can choose your default windows mode, light or dark. Default apps mode, light or dark. Actually, I'm gonna make all of them dark just because I can. Oh my gosh, okay, well maybe for the tutorial I'll leave it light, but you can kind of get the idea. And then you can change your accent colors to be pretty much any color that you want, either a default color or you can customize it with a color picker and then that'll define what your accent color is. Mine is currently like a blue color because my background is primarily blue, but you can change it to just anything that you want. And then you can show the accent color on the following surfaces, start taskbar and action center, sounds great. And then title bars and on windows borders, you know what, let's do that too. We can pretty much just do all of the above if it wants to let me, it's being a little laggy when I change these. And then similarly, you can change the background on your Windows lock screen. You just have to, you know, find and select the one that you want to use. Uh, the background, let's just, you can pick a picture and then it'll ask you which one do you want to use, or you can just browse for one. Or it'll just be the spotlight image where Windows will just pick a random image that they think is cool and they'll throw it up there for you. And then if you want to have an app and then some of its information, like what's going on, like notifications for weather and stuff, show up on your lock screen, you can add those here so that their information will be there when you try to log into your computer. And then you can also have their quick status show up on your lock screen as well by adding them here. I don't really use that. I figure if I need information, I'll just like load into my computer or check my phone. So that stuff tends to be less of a big deal for me. Uh, after that, you've got screen timeout settings, which basically just controls whether or not things are going to sleep after 15 minutes or what have you. And then you've also got screensaver settings. Um, I just put my screen to sleep, but if you want to have a screensaver, there's a lot of great options in here. It just pops open this little window and you can select one. Uh, they got a few. Not a, not a crazy ton as they used to, but there's like bubbles and mystify and... All sorts of stuff. Then after that, we have Windows themes. Uh, currently, the theme that we set up is what's called our synced theme, and you can save that as a specific theme. We'll just call this Larry's test theme, and we'll just save that as that. So that will actually synchronize to my like Microsoft Windows account, and now I can swap between this or my old theme whenever I want, which is actually really nice. Like maybe today I'm feeling productive and I want like my productive background, or I'm feeling like crazy space alien wizards or some stuff and I can switch back. You have all kinds of options. Although when you change your visualization settings, Windows might freeze up for a second, or at least this window might freeze up for a second because Windows is literally going through and changing color settings across your entire system. And it like kind of freaks out a little bit. Like, I can't click on these right now. I gotta give it a moment, and then boop, it'll kind of figure itself out. Now, Windows also has some default ones that you can grab, and then they've also got ones that you can pick up for free in the Windows Store. I don't know if you have to pay for them. 
now, but they were free last time I looked. And then you can control your font settings in here. These are all the fonts currently installed on your machine. There's a lot of them that come by default. So you can search for them. You can get more fonts on the Microsoft Store. Normally, if as a designer, I'll install a bunch of them because you use them in custom ones for designs all the time. And then you can adjust clear type text settings, download more fonts in all languages over here. You can also adjust the text size on your computer to make it easier to read. Down over here, you've got the start menu options. Show more tiles on start, on or off. Show app list at the start menu. Show recently added apps. Show most used apps. Show suggestions. Occasionally on the start menu, you start full screen mode like they used to do in like Windows 8. Use all, all this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Similarly, taskbar settings. Do you want your taskbar locked, automatically hidden, automatically hide it in tablet mode? Use small buttons. Use the sneak peek preview mode when you're like hovering over apps to see what's going on. Uh, do you want the location on the bottom or do you want on the right, top, left? Combine taskbar buttons. Always hide labels. So all these are pretty self-explanatory if you want to go through these. Uh, and then down at the bottom, you can show contacts on your computer for people that you can like message directly through Windows on the sidebar. If you turn this on, you can mess with all these other settings. And then that's pretty much it. Those are all the personalization settings that let you customize your computer to really fit your personality and how you like to work with it, which makes it super duper easy. And I'm actually going to go back and shoot because everything goes back to dark mode. Where was that? Was that in her colors? There we go. Back to dark mode. Boom. Love it. All right, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. This has been a brief look at the sort of uh, custom settings that you can pick for Windows for personalization stuff. If you have any questions, you can throw that in the comment section below, and I will catch you next time. And if you have any added questions and you need extra help, we've also got a Discord full of great people that are always happy to give you a hand. So until uh, then, bye everybody and uh, do the likey subscribe thing.